Seeing this this week on Fox 9 on your side, you know that Scott has been myth busting for us, telling us things that people say about the weather that just simply are not true, right, Scott? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. We've been trying to find all those different things that have been bust, uh, myths that have been occurring uh, as far as in Idaho and across the nation as well. And we're going to show you another one of those myths here if I can get to our right graphic, because in Idaho, uh, we're totally dealing with. Um, all kinds of information as far as tornadoes go, and you're hearing misinformation in regards to tornadoes in the mountains. And what I want to talk about today is the myth is mountains block tornadoes from forming. In other words, you can't get tornadoes in the mountains. Don't the mountains block the tornadoes? And so I want to break that myth right here. I finally have the right graphic for you. These are Rocky Mountain tornadoes from 1950 to 2011. Now, it's hard to see here the ele elevation here in white at the highest elevations. And all those little spots you see, these are tornadoes and tornado paths here. Now, you see a lot more. Notice the colors here. This is an EF0, one, two, three, four. So pink, blue and green are zero ones and twos and you can see them all in here lots of pinks here a lot of ef zeros more on the plains and the lower elevations yes but in the mountains you can still get them as well it's just cooler in the mountains that's why we don't seem to have as many tornadoes you don't have the uh, the unstable air and so you don't get that rapid development and uh, rapidly rising air from these storm systems so i want to focus in on this storm right here this is a tornado that went through wyoming in the Grand Teton National Forest on July 21st, 1987. This is at 10,000 feet. It was an EF4 tornado at 10,000 feet. It went right across the Continental Divide. You can see other tornadoes around here as well, way up on the high elevations here moving through. This tornado, I want to zoom in on that EF4 right here in the Teton National Forest, the strongest tornado ever recorded in Wyoming. We're talking you know, 150, almost 200 mile per hour winds with this storm system, actually over 200 mile per hour winds as it moved at a good long distance through. So again, tornadoes can form and go through the mountains, but you have to have the right set of circumstances for it to happen. Let's take a closer inspection. I want to show you what happens here across the Pacific Northwest. You don't see as many tornadoes. You see a couple little spots here. The least amount of tornadoes right here in the Pacific Northwest. But I want to show you down here in Idaho, and we're going to zoom right on in, because look at this. This was an EF1 that occurred. I don't have the date on these two right here. Uh, this, actually, these are um, EF1s uh, here. There are zeros showing up, little spots in the Treasure Valley. But in the mountains, notice this one right here. This was Bear, Idaho. This was an EF2 tornado that that occurred back in 2006, and there were reports of huge pine trees circulating 100 feet in the air above this tornado as it moved on through and just ripped everything to shreds, and we're going right over those high elevations you see there in the white. So tornadoes can form anywhere they want as long as the meteorological conditions above the ground are right. And in the lower elevations, it happens a lot, but in the mountains, it can still happen. Michelle? Interesting, Scott. I have heard that before, so I'm glad you busted that myth wide open Clearing for it us. up for you. Thanks, Scott. All right, we got to take you back.